Hi guys, this is Ratchet Throw, and we are playing Criminal Case, Charlie Time, Case 26, A Mongolian Tale. Let's all our chapter 2, and Kai has some news for us. Katrina, there you are. I went out to inspect our surroundings and saw someone. He was looking around the Mongolian youth and wore foreign clothes. Oh. A suspicious guy. Did you get a good look at him? It's not Amor, if that's what you think. This guy had a beard and some kind of flat hat. I could draw a sketch of his face for you, Katerina. That would be good. It's too suspicious that this foreigner appears just when the village chief gets murdered. Who could he be? Let's get Kai working on that sketch, Katerina. By that shape. I think I know who's going to be. Or maybe not. Identify Santiago Sanchez. No, I don't know him. Katria, Kai says Christian matched a historical figure. Someone called Santiago Sanchez. Do you recognize the name, Orlando? Yes, he's a Spanish explorer. He's known for his travels through the whole of Asia, Katrina. See, these explorers went to trade various goods and also learn about different customs. I'd expect him to set up a camp not far from the youths. It might be a long shot, Katrina. What if this Spaniard saw something about the murder? I agree. Let's go talk to him. Okay. I expected somebody from prison to come. Possibly somebody from time. Sir, are you Santiago Sanchez? Si, my name is Santiago, explorer of Mongolia. I have been traveling for many months and I'm far away from my homeland, España. We are trying to discover who killed Argat, the chief of a nearby village. Did you know him? Claro, of course. The chief and I had many discussions together. I even invited him several times to my caravan. Exploring requires a lot of equipment and extra pairs of hands, so our settlement is impressive. Mira, see, I studied local castles and tries, and Argan graciously answered all my questions. The only thing he did not quite care for was my pet eagle. The chief will come to your camp? The Katria and I would like to look for clues there. Claro, of course. Katria, you are welcome to search my caravan. Okay. What dress am I looking for? Damn it, this is hard. Well, this is still better than wasting 4,000 or 5,000 for extra seconds.
Oh. Sanchez's caravan is what I imagined as a key when I think of summer camp, Katarina. Anyway, Sanchez said he divided the victim here several times, so maybe we can find some clues about him or his murder. I agree, look through that chest could give us a new lead. And is this some kind of saddle? You're right, there, it has the same embroidery as the victim's bag. So this saddle must belong to our cat, like the bag did. What's this clear substance on it? We better get a sample. Okay. Empty sheet, I thought that was a whip. <laughs> Tria, you were right to search that chest. There's a bloody sheet in it. Is the blood our victims? Let's send a sheet to Tio to make sure. That must be where our murder weapon comes from. Alright, let's collect the sample from the saddle. Let's get the sauces from the victim's saddle under the microscope, Katerina. Okay. This saddle is camel spit, Katharina. And look, there are some camels over there. I'll see a lady brushing them. I agree, Katharina. The victim must have ridden those camels if he left his saddle here in the caravan. Let's go talk to the camel lady. Okay. You also have a skin rash, so that's definitely going to be a piece of killer's profile. Um, ma'am, we would like to ask you about the saddle we found. It belonged to the chief of a nearby village, and he's been murdered. Ah yes, the caravan has done a lot of trading with the youth village, so I know many of its members, including the late chief. I've been traveling with the caravan for a while, handling the camels and translating for the Europeans. But I always like to get friendly with the locals whenever we stop somewhere. I heard about the chief's death from two of the villagers, Morgan and Urhi. They told me over a glass of yak's milk. How terrible. Argit was so young, and he loved camels. He came to ride them with that very saddle. He had it especially made, you know. Do you know anything that could aid us in finding Argit's killer? Oh, my dears, I do not know about killings, only camels. Speaking of which, I must attend to them now. Goodbye. Okay, nothing from you. Is there something left on the sheet? Katria, I'm pretty excited that our quest for repairing the timeline has led us to my ancestral land. Oh. You have so many stories about your family, Tio. It's so cool that you have Korean, but also have Mongolian blood running through your veins. 
You didn't say that before. <laughs> yes, my family tree shows that my ancestors were nomads from Mongolia. Can you imagine the life they must have led? But Katrina, you'd probably rather hear about that sheet you sent me. Yeah, our bit was stabbed with a dagger, so we were wondering if this sheet Katrina find the European caravan was related to our murder. It is. I am like the blood and can confirm that it is your victims. So does this mean the murderer is someone from the caravan? Or on the contrary, was the murderer trying to pin it on the caravan by hiding the sheet there? It's impossible to tell, but Orlando found something out about your killer. See, Katrina, nomadic tribes in this region were very attached to imagery. They choose their sheets very seriously, making sure it represented who they were and what they valued. This one has a representation of both the sun and the moon. It symbolizes reincarnation as night turns into day and day into night until the end of time. And since this shape belongs to your cure, it's obvious they believe in reincarnation themselves. Oh. Believing in reincarnation means that the Kiro can hope to do better in their next life. I agree, Katia. We should continue searching for clues. How about we return to the victim's yurt? So, you believe in reincarnation? Damn it. Repeat. I can't find the incense sticks. God damn it. Oh dear. Just one item to find. Where is it? I could have. Ah, oh, there. Five thousand coins just for one item. Katrina, I have to admit that I'm sort of enjoying medieval Mongolia. I mean, apart from being falsely accused of murder. Oh, yeah, I'm enjoying it too, don't worry. What's that only box you found, and why is it locked? I agree, we should open it. And what are these pieces of parchment? Let's piece them back together. Okay. Okay, let's unlock it. What's that? Katria, that beautiful box of the victims you had this rock in it? Oh wait, you're right, it's a flint! Like what was used on a desert island to make fire. Oh. But why would our victim lock up a flint? 
Especially such a nice case. I agree, Katria. We should send a rock to Orlando to see what he makes of it. Maybe there's something we're missing. Yeah. Drawing. And you are... This is some kind of official portrait, Katarina. And the face seems sort of familiar. I don't know. Let me just check. Oh, Katrina, I remember now. Penel told me about this guy. He is Ogede Khan, the son of Genghis Khan, and the current ruler of Mongolian Empire. Oh. He is respected because of how he is uniting most of Mongolia and expanding it even further than his father had. How much he is expanding. <laughs> but then, you're right, why was his portrait torn up in the chief's yurt? Did our victim do this? Sounds like we can ask Argen what his problem with Ogede was, Katarina. Or we can ask his father about it, you're right. Okay. I thought we were going to talk to this Ogede. <laughs> yep. How is your investigation going, Katarina? Remember, you have until nightfall to prove that you did not kill my son. Actually, we happen to find this porch of the Khan. Do you know why your son tore it up? My son didn't tear it up. I did. Argy was more loyal to Ogide Khan than he was to his own tribe. He made us submit to the Khan's rule. We used to be independent and do what we thought was right for our own people. But then Arga became chief and made us follow the Khan's laws. We had to pay taxes and send good men to war. I told my son he was a fool and the two of us argued. It ended with me tearing up the Khan's portrait. Oh. You seem very disappointed in your son, Tudun. Maybe enough to let rage cloud your better judgement? How dare you! Because of his murder, my son and I will never resolve our conflict. Finding his hero is the only way I can cleanse my karma and hope to be reincar- reincarnate. Reincar- I can't- Reincarnated into something good. Wow. And I'll have no pity for you if I find out you really did kill my son, Katerina. Uh. What's with the flint? Orlando, our flints used to make fire. What makes this one so special that the victim would lock it up in a box? Katria, this is a ceremonial flint. Oh. See, when two people get married in Mongolia, the groom uses a special flint to spark the fire in the couple's new home. It's the official way of saying that they are going to start their own family. But, according to the markings, this particular flint hasn't been used, which means there hasn't been a wedding yet. So the victim was going to get married? To who? That is right, the flint was in a box that had horse decorations on it. Oh, we know someone with horses. And Erhi says she scouts the heel of her horse. Does this mean this flint was meant to be used in a ceremony between her and our victim? Could she have been engaged to Argat? But then why didn't Erhi tell us they had a romantic relationship? Let's go ask Erhi about it, Katarina. Okay. You didn't tell us something. Erhi, we found a boss with this ceremonial flint in it. We could not help but think of you. Were you and Argit engaged to be married? If so, why did you not inform us earlier? 
Tadun already asked me all the questions in the world concerning his son, Katarina. But fine, I'll tell you too. Yes, Arge wished to marry me, but I refused. I expected him as my chief, but I did not want him as my husband. We're too different. I dream of being reincar car reincarnated into a giant bird and go hunting with my eagle, whereas Arge would study and strategize. He was too political, too boring. Being united in marriage would have been devastating to both of us. So, what happens now that he's dead? Do you regain your freedom? I was always free, Katrina. Arget respected my decision and we never spoke of it again. Oh, but you're very suspicious. Who could have predicted that chasing our arch enemy, who twisted the timeline into medieval Mongolia, would be such a roller coaster of emotions, Katerina? Our arrival was brutal since we got sucked into a murder investigation, in which we are the prime suspect. We're told we have till nightfall to find Argat's killer. And there are quite a few suspects, like Urki, who didn't want to marry Argat. Or even the victim's father who disagreed with his son's politics. I agree, Katria. We need more if we wish to make our case and prove our innocence. Why don't we... Whoa! Somebody tries to shoot us! Tongue. Katria, was that an arrow? Yeah. Probably... Yeah, they want us dead, yes. Well, we'll see who's shooting. Alright, we're gonna stop here. We're gonna continue playing in chapter 3. So, thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a like to this video, and I'll see you again. Goodbye!